Hey everybody, it's BuilderDude35, and this week's video is about how to program a two sensor proportional line follower in EV3G. A two sensor proportional line follower is actually something that's been suggested a bunch of times by my fans, and so here it goes. Basically what it's going to be is a combination of two line followers that I've previously made, a two sensor line follower and a proportional line follower. Now we're going to be making a two sensor line follower that in integrates a proportional algorithm to make it more reliable. So anyway, here's how it works. Like a two sensor line follower, there are two sensors and they each go on either side of the black line. When, say, the right sensor sees the black line, it knows it's moved too far left and it, the robot's going to turn right to correct. So basically, it's searching for the black line and if one of the sensors sees the black line, it knows to steer in the opposite direction. The proportional part now comes in where the darker the light value of the sensor is, the sharper the correction the robot knows to make because it knows it's farther onto the black line um, with the darker light value and so it will make a sharper correction off of the line and that's where the proportional part comes through. So without further ado, I'll go into the EV3 programming software and show you how to program that. So here I have opened the EV3 programming software and I'm going to show you how to program this two sensor proportional line follower. The first thing that we're going to do is take out a loop block and then a switch block inside of that loop block, then yet another switch block inside of the loop block. Both of these switch blocks are going to be set to color sensor, compare, and reflected light intensity. So we'll do that now. Color sensor, compare, reflected light intensity. And the first sensor I'm going to set to port 1, and the second one is going to be set to port 2 for your left and right sensors. The next thing to do is to adjust the light sensor threshold value, which is this number here. And in my case, this is going to be 65%, because this is the value that you get when both sensors are over the white line. So 65% is my value, and make sure it's either less than or less than or equal to. Now, here comes the fun part of the program, where we're actually going to make the proportional algorithm. The first thing we're going to take out is a color sensor block. We're going to drag that in here. It's going to be set to measure and reflected light intensity, and make sure the port of the color sensor matches the port of the switch block that it's in. So 1 and 1. The next thing we're going to do is take out two math blocks. Here's 1. And here's the second. The first one is going to be set to subtract. The second one's going to be set to divide. We're going to plug in the result of the sensor block into the, of the first math block. And then the B is going to be entered in as 35. The result of this block is going to be plugged into the A of the second division block and the B is going to be set to 1.5 and then this result is going to be plugged into a steering block. So we're going to take out move steering, set this to on, set the power to whatever you want. I like putting at 35% because that's nice and stable but not totally slow and we're going to plug the result of this in as the steering factor. Now Here's what it's doing is it's taking the light value, subtracting it by 35, dividing it by 1.5, then setting it as a steering factor. I subtract by 35 to shrink down the values because the light sensor values can be as high as 75%, but you don't want them to be as high because that would be terrible for your steering factor. Your robot would be steering too much. So I do that to kind of scale them down, and it's the same story with dividing by 1.5. It's just to scale the values down. And I get a lot of questions about that, so now that's answered. And the next step is to do the proportional algorithm for the other switch block. And since I'm too lazy, nay, efficient, I'm just going to copy and paste it down here. So we've copied and pasted here. We're going to change this to port 2 because now we're influencing the, uh, or taking data from the port 2 sensor. And the only change that we need to make here is this B value. Instead of 1.5, needs to be negative 1.5. And the reason we do this is because now the robot, this means that the robot's on the other side of the line. So we want it to steer in the opposite direction from than if it were on this side of the line. 
And the final step is to, in this no case, what we're going to do is take out a move tank block, set it to on, and then set both of these to whatever percentage of power that you used over here. So in my case, 35 and 35. And voila, now you have a completed two sensor line follower program. Here is the two sensor proportional line follower in action. Here's another shot of the line follower in action. Note the difference in wheel speeds as I moved across the line. Thank you for watching my video this week. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials every week, and if you have an idea for a tutorial, don't forget to submit it in the comments section. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.